Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been working on these hover boxes, and today I'm going to sort of expand on that idea. We're going to turn them into flip boxes. I've got a couple of examples here. These are a little exaggerated. But you can get some fantastic effects using the inbuilt transform feature. Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you give it a look. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder that will allow us to build us on build this on the front end. When it's loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm simply going to duplicate this row that we've got here. The black tab is for the module, the blurb module we've got in there. The green tab is for the whole row. I'm going to hit the two little boxes right there. And it's duplicated our row for us. If you didn't see our hover box video, you want to watch that. I'll put the link below this video because we're using those and I don't want to go over it all again. So have a look at that first if you're not sure what's going on. Okay, the first thing I want to do is go into our row, which is the green tab up here, hit the settings, and we've got one, two, three columns, one, two, three. I'm going to work on the first column. Just click the little cog. And what I want to do, we've already got a hover effect applied to it from when we made that hover box, but I want it to actually flip. So I want to go to transform. And we used our translate to move our text in the last video, we're now going to use the rotate to flip it. So you've got three little axes here that you can rotate it on. I'm just left clicking and moving and as you can see that will flip it on the vertical. This will flip it on the horizontal and this will circle it, make it revolve in a circle. So I'll just reset those to zero. I just want to use this one today. And I'm going to flip it 180 degrees. Get it around to where you want it. You can fine tune with these little arrows down there. That's great. But I only want it to do that when we're actually hovering over it. So let's go up to transform, go to our little arrow, same as we did before desktop version, I want that to be exactly where it was, which is zero. And the hover version, I want it to be 180. There we go. So you'd think that's going to do everything that we want it to do, but it's not. If I save it, and we'll exit the Visual Builder, I'll show you the other thing that you've got to consider. You may be ahead of me and know what I'm going to say now, but for those that, that don't, I'm going to just point this thing out. Once our changes are saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. Go down. Now here's the column we were working on. When I hover over it, it should flip, but there's going to be a problem. There we go. It's, can you see the problem? The writing's all back to front because we flipped the column and it's flipped everything within it. But of course, the writing's back to front, which is no good. So we've actually got to flip that writing as well. So let's go in there and do that. Okay, let's. Here's our little module. So we want to go into the module this time, not the row. We're in the module, the dark tab. And again, I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go down to transform. And again, I want to use the rotate. And I want to give it exactly the same as we gave our column. So I'll get my desktop. Don't want it to do anything. And hover wants to be 180. I'll just type 180 in there. There we go. Now it looks back to front there, but when we actually do it, that should work perfectly. Before we go, what I want to do, when I noticed when 
I was doing this, it was happening very quickly. I want to slow it down a bit. So to do that, let's go over to our advanced tab, to our transitions. And this dictates the time it takes to go through that transition, which is default is 1300 milliseconds. I'm going to take it up. The ones below were a little exaggerated. They were about 1200 milliseconds. Let's take this one up to about 850. I don't want any delay. I want it to happen straight away when you put your mouse over it. So I'm going to leave that at zero. But I do want it to ease in and ease out. At the moment it's ease, which would sort of do it all the same, similar speed. Ease in, ease out will sort of, it'll get faster as it goes in and then fast and then slow when it gets out, which is for me quite a nice effect. So we want to remember 850 and ease in, ease out, because we want to do exactly the same thing for the column or it's going to look a bit strange when it rotates at different speeds. Maybe effect you want. <laughs> Play with it. You can get some fantastic effects going by just spending a bit of time playing with these. So here's our column number one. Same thing. Go to the Advanced tab, Transitions. And we said 850, didn't we? And no delay. And ease in, ease out. There we go, we'll save that, exit the Visual Builder, and hopefully now it should do everything that we want it to do. Exit the Visual Builder. And let's roll down, see what we've got. There we are. Let's roll over it and see what happens. There we go, you've got a nice little flip box with icon to text reveal on hover. Nice little effect. I won't cover these, they're exactly the same. You just use those different axes to do it over the top like this one or circular like this one. You may have to use the translate to move this text where you want it once it has hovered. But if you've seen the other video, you'll know how to do that. So there we are, there's how to make an easy flip box effect using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That really does help me know whether to make more videos on a specific topic or not. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.